Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing a marine up in my own warband's colors. This is my Liquifactor warband, and I've primed a Mark III marine up in Steinal Res Black Primer. We're going to start off with a little bit of airbrushing. You can also see that I've got a base that's been pre-painted and pre-built for when we're done painting. So the colors that we'll use to get this started will be Misfits Green, Iosin Green, Bright Yellow Green, and Flash Gets Yellow. Just ignore that that's transparent yellow for now. We'll start off with Misfits Green to get a nice saturation layer down on most of the mini. We're going to be focusing on the armor panels mix all of my airbrush paints with a little bit of flow improver at least about 50 50 at the least and somewhere up to about four parts flow improver to one part paint we're going to take this kind of thin but uh, just thick enough to leave a nice green tint to the majority of the model Next I'll bring in the Iosin Green as a mid-tone, and I'm going to make this angled a little bit more so we leave some of the existing green alone and emulate some of the areas where light will fall along the legs, the shoulders, the head, the breastplate, and the gauntlets. bring in some of the bright yellow green and hit smaller areas where we previously hit the green panels with Iosin green building up to smaller highlights. This is building value and saturation at the same time. These colors are building off of the initial greens that we put down. Now here I made a little bit of a mistake and thought I could get away with using some transparent yellow for the final layer. That's not quite what I need. What I need here is actually flash gets yellow. I need something a little bit more opaque. So you'll see me stop and I reload the airbrush here with flash gets yellow. We're going to hit small areas around the green but very very thin here so you might add more flow improver to flash gets yellow. We want it to enhance the green, not overpower the green. And one final step for the armor panels is to bring a little bit of shadow back into the green. So I'm gonna use some Nightshade Purple from Reaper and bring in some areas where I may have a little bit of overspray and then enhance where shadows should be where I may have gotten a little overzealous. So at this point we've completed our green airbrushing for the armor panels and we've got to move on to our metal trim so for this part I'm going to be using some Vallejo metal color airbrush colors uh, specifically steel and aluminum we'll start off with steel here 
We're going to hit all of the trim, some of the conduit, some of the piping here, and a few bits on the bolt gun as well. At this point, I'm going to break out the Magimix, which is a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one mix of Nuln Oil, Agrax, or Shade, and Lamy and Medium. Thank you, Genuine Vision. And I'm going to put that in a couple of areas around the seal to get some recessed shading. I'm also going to touch up a few more bits of the shield as I go. Here I'll break out some of the Vallejo metal color aluminium and put some spot highlights on the metal. So that puts us in a great place for our metals. 
and we'll need to finalize up our green tones with some edge highlighting at this point. We'll go back and use some of our bright yellow green as well as some of our flash kit yellow. We'll use two colors here to make some blended edges. So as you're watching, you'll notice that some of the highlights I put in places that may not exactly make sense, but just end up looking good or looking cool, which is always kind of the rule of the game. Uh, if it looks good, go ahead and do it. This isn't meant to be representing an extremely realistic lighting, uh, but more of a, an exaggerated sort of comic book style of lighting. When you're doing your edge highlights too, remember, go in thin, go in smoothly with your strokes. Uh, it doesn't hurt to go in with multiple passes, in fact that usually makes a better line on the edge. And that also helps you blend in higher or darker values. Remember to blend your edge highlights towards darker areas as well as brighter areas along the edges and corners of things. So at this point, I'm happy with my green highlights and edges, and it's time to add in the secondary color, purple. So we're going to start off with using a couple of very rich colors here to block in our purple items. We'll start off with some Vallejo model color violet, move on towards some scale 75 sunset purple, some Citadel Emperor's Children and also some Citadel Fulgrim Pink to get these done. The tertiary color in the scheme, yellow, is more included here as a part of our edge highlighting. Uh, sometimes we can include some additional items on the belt, or on the base, or horns, etc. to 
be yellow, but we don't have that luxury on this particular mini. Uh, this is just a plain bolter marine, so we're going to make the bolt gun purple as well as the eye lenses. Now that we've got a nice base coat of violet, we're going to bring in some of that sunset purple and kind of blend it in towards the light on the bolt gun panels as well as towards the center of the eye lenses. You'll notice I'm touching up some edges around the eye lenses and then muting them back down a little bit to give them some texture and depth. If you'd like to add some OSL, this is a good point to do so, but I'm just keeping this as a basic lens glow. And at this point, I'm going to bring in some Emperor's Children for some pink highlights in the purple areas. And then finally, afterwards, some specular highlights with a bit of fulgrim pink, which is nearly white. And now that we're done, all he needs is a varnish and a base, and he'll be complete. Let's pin him to a base. Boom. As easy as that. It's been pinned. Not going anywhere. And varnished. So, that's how you do a Liquifactor Marine. How do you do your own warbands? I'll bring you another video next week. In the meantime, catch me on Twitch, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And until then, have a great week.